Oh, I can hear you now? Yeah. I'm actually glad you came in and told me that. I did not realize that uh, it was muted. That's going to be embarrassing, man. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube channel, you know, to save the mods and everything. Whenever these this episode uploads, people might make fun of me. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I got a lot of crap here that I need to haul back. Looks like Skyrim a third person. You can play Skyrim a third person. But I do get a Skyrim feel from this. I get like a Skyrim feel and a, um, a Dark Souls feel. Can't sleep at this time. Yeah, any spare wood. Dude. Noise. Sleep. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I need to see. I cannot craft a portal. I think I need this for that. Do I already have that? I already have that. What I'm what am I missing? Love Skyrim, haven't finished it yet. I don't I don't think many people have. It's, it's, it's a massive game. I do highly enjoy it, though. But what do I need for the... What do I need to be able to... I want the... Uh, maybe it's fine wood. Is this game only for PC? Yes. Um, as for right now, this game is developed by only five people. Only five people uh, work on this game. But from my understanding, they are looking to um, transfer and get over to console. I have so much stuff. I think I need to try to get some um, fine wood so I can make a portal. Trying to think. 20 stone, 20 stone. Oh my gosh. So if I can make a portal, then I can just portal all this crap from this place to the other place instead of having to run it all. That's a pretty long run that I just made. So where I'm at right now was like the first shelter that I kind of moved in. Kind of like, uh, you know, sleep and crap things. But I ran around, I ran around all of this, ran around all of this to kind of scope out how big this main island was, how big the starter island was, and it's massive. And it actually co slightly connects to a few other islands as well. But this little area right here that I came across looked really nice for a, uh, to build a home. So this is where I want to build my home. But it is so far from here. That's a very long run to try to carry all the stuff. I think what I'm going to do... Is try to make a portal. The only thing I can really do. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Where's my food chest? No. Wait. Yeah. Is it a survival game? Yes, it's a open world explore adventure combat survival game um, But you do have a goal like there's five different bosses right now uh, This game is in early access this game. Um, I think released like early February, so it's only like a month old So it's still freshly It's, it's still a pretty fresh game But, um, 
the developers have said that by the time this game actually reaches its full state, they want, um, there's gonna be like nine bosses to fight and like ten different biomes to explore, which is crazy. You think about it, that's pretty insane. Because right now there's, there's like nine biomes, but some of them don't have anything in it because they haven't added anything yet. But, um, oh, okay, what was I gonna say? I need a smelter. And I need this furnace. Because I need to make a bronze axe so I can get some fine wood. Because I need fine wood to craft a, uh, a portal. Now, I don't know if it would just simply be easier to... Uh... Thank you for the follow, Run Sides. Appreciate the support. I can't... Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it would be easier to just mine the copper, mine the tin, smelt it to ingots, make a bronze axe, cut down fine wood trees, make a portal. I don't know if that would be easier than just going ahead and trying to haul all this stuff. I think, I think my trying to get a bronze axe would probably be a little bit better. Because at the end of the day, I would still have a, uh, a bronze axe. Which means I don't need too much copper or too much tin. Which is kind of good. Bell's Three Bucks says, sounds entertaining. It's a very entertaining game. I absolutely love this game. It is so much fun. So much fun and again it's made by five people and me personally I haven't run into any bugs except for one and that was very recent and um, it's where like I had two different characters on two different worlds right because every you know my world like this world is probably going to be a completely different world if you play it's a very fun game very entertaining game I need to eat before I fight this thing. Oh! I dodged it at the wrong t moment. Hey, man. Hey. You're messing up my yard, bro. I do not appreciate. Hang on, I'll reach out in a second. Uh, Bell's Three Bug asks, that a boss? No, this is not a boss. This is just a troll that randomly spawns uh, throughout the world. There's tons of them. Actually, earlier in the stream, when I accidentally had my mic muted, <laughs> I actually killed like three of those in a row because they just kept coming out of nowhere. Um, but they're just trolls. They spawn in the Black Forest biome. Uh, that is not a boss. Bosses... The first boss is actually pretty easy. It's just a giant deer with huge antlers that shoots lightning at you. Um, but it's still pretty big compared to a standard deer. But the other bosses, I've only ever fought... I fought the second boss and I fought the third boss. And they're huge. The second boss is huge. The second boss is like as tall as a tree. And the third boss is like this giant poison blob thing. Uh, I've never seen the fourth or fifth boss. But that thing, that's just a troll. It's just a creature in the, in the woods. 
that attacks you. Anyways. He had, uh... No care for my, uh, little... Yard here. That bastard. You know that throw some wood in the, uh... Furnace here. Which I got, 21? Oh, uh, obviously. Run says, "As what's the main goal objective in this game? Well, this game at its core is a survival game. It's a base building. Like, I mean, you can build anywhere, but the way that the building is, it's more realistic, I guess you can say. Like, you can't just, like, build a skyscraper and then cut the bottom half to where it's floating in the sky. You can't do that. Like, things have to actually be touching the ground. Um, things have to, in a way, be realistically, you know, structural built. Like, um, like, things have to be connected, and then those things have to be connected to the ground. Like, you can't just build things floating in the sky. Um, but anyways, the main goal, the core goal, is to survive, craft, try to, um, you know, get higher tier, tier, uh, gear and weapons and stuff like that. I don't want that. But I guess the main objective, other than surviving and con constantly building and upgrading your, your gear and everything, I guess the main goal would probably be, uh, hunting down and slaying the... That, that was burning wood. Uh, hunting down and slaying the five bosses. And like I said earlier, this game is still in early access, developed by only five people. So right now, there's only five bosses, which is still a lot. I mean, these bosses, other than the first boss, these bosses are not easy to, uh, to take down. You have to, like, really gear yourself up, prepare yourself. And then, once you take down one boss, he will drop some piece of loot that will allow you to move on to uh, the next boss or the next biome or whatever. I mean, technically, you can go anywhere right now. Starting out in the game, you can go anywhere you want, but you're definitely not going to be prepared for it. Like, if you start out the game and just run straight to... Well, if you're good at combat, you might be able to survive the Black Forest a little bit, but you won't be able to fight a troll. You'll probably die. Um, but, like, if you want run to, like, the mountain biome, you would die one hit. One hit would kill you. Or if you go to the plains, the plains, one hit, you die. So, it's like a level progression, and, uh... Bees, three bug ass... Do you gain levels? Uh, in a way, you do. In a way, you gain you gain skills. You gain skills, and there's a lot more here. Just my character hasn't learned that skill yet. But like, you don't get like ability points. Like, you don't have like a level, and you have to do get enough experience, and then you level up, and then you pick a perk. No, everything levels up more the more you do it. And I think it's really cool and really neat. Like, the more you block, the more you sprint, the more you jump, the more you sneak, the more you kill things or hit things with your bow and arrow, that skill will increase. And there's more things here, just this character's, I guess, like, low tier. But to increase these skills, you just gotta do it more. So, like, if you want to be really, really good at using a sword, you got to use that sword. And realistically, I mean, I guess that's how it would go. The more you trained with a sword, the better you get at it. But to unlock, like, recipes... To unlock recipes... Thank you for the follow, Rogue148. Rogue148, thank you for the follow. Thank you... I appreciate the support. But to um, build, to unlock recipes and crafting blueprints and stuff like that, you have to pick up a piece of that blueprint. And then your character, 
I see it as... Because when you first start out, you pretty much don't know, your character doesn't know anything, and it even tells you, yeah, you was a great warrior in Midgard, but, you know, you, you need to relearn everything. So, like, as soon as you kill your first boar, or you pick up a stone off the ground, it unlocks, like, a, a blueprint or recipe. And it's pretty much your character picking something new up and be like, huh, I think I could do something with this. Let me see what I can do. And some recipes require you to pick up more of the resources like my um what i'm trying to do right now is craft the portal and i know how to craft the portal because my other character you know i i know what it takes but this character i haven't picked up a piece of fine wood yet so that's why when i go to my crafting the portal wasn't here because i got the um i got the cores and i got the uh eyes but i don't have fine wood i haven't picked up fine wood with this character so my character doesn't know that blueprint yet but i know the blueprint because my other character that i was playing as i need to actually go and mine the copper that i was trying to do so in a way you could see it as like a semi-realistic type game i don't know i mean it's still like a video game it's not like 100 realistic but it's i mean it, it all depends on the way you want to look at it overall i love this game 100 i love this game oh no i accidentally forgot my troll hide at my new home's location i wanted to build a troll helmet dang it uh Three bug ass, so the more you craft, the better your skill. No. Your building skill, there is no building skill. There's no building skill. You don't have a building skill. The more you craft, the better. No. It's not that. Like I said, if you want to get good at spears, you have to kill things with your spear more. If you want to get good at your sneak level, you gotta be stealthy more often. Like, there's no... Oh, crafting a hundred daggers is gonna, you know, get my building up, or there's no, um, experience level, and then I unlock ability point, and now all of a sudden I'm really good at bows. No, you got to use that tool, that gear, that weapon, to get better at it. Like, me running around, sprinting, like, you start off at, like, level zero on everything. And like I said, there's a lot more skills here that my other character has, but this character hasn't learned it yet. My character doesn't know anything about it. But eventually he will. I gotta stop picking up this coal and running back inside. It's actually annoying myself. I need to go mine the copper and get these things off of my, uh, out of my inventory. I'm just gonna put these things away, random things. Okay, so I think there was copper over here. But to, uh, like, you have to fight the first boss to be able to craft a pickaxe. There's no other way to craft a pickaxe if you're playing solo and you're not having, like, a friend come in and hand you stuff. There's no other way to craft a pickaxe that I know of without, um, fighting the first boss and learning how to craft a pickaxe because this pickaxe is technically made out of the first boss's antlers I just need some copper I just need some copper dudes Beach 3 Bug says, I like that. Reminds me of a game I can't remember right now. The only other game with a somewhat similar game I can think of is GTA San Andreas. I, I suppose. I mean, that's not a survival game, though. But I guess if you're talking about, like, the skills, then yeah. See, my skill improved because I'm using the pickaxe. My skill improved. 
And see, new material. This is my first time picking up a copper orb of this character. He picked it up and he's like, oh, hey, this is new. But I can't do anything with this. I have to actually smelt this down. And the uh, metals, you can't teleport those. As far as I know, those are the only things you can't teleport. Yeah, you meant the skills? Yeah, I figured you were talking about the skills. Because I was like, GTA, that's not survival. I haven't played that in absolutely forever. By the way, these copper deposits are huge. Absolutely huge. I'm not even I'm not even gonna try to mine this whole thing. I'm just trying to get enough so I can craft a uh, bronze axe so I can then get fine wood so I can then make the portal. This guy right here, he has like a star by his name. He's like a slightly higher level of his type of um, creature whatever you want to say because these are like the standard levels and he's like a one star level so he, he his attack is a little bit higher he has a bit more health and when he dies and drops his loot his loot is like two times more than what the standard drops and then there's a two star I've never seen a three star so if you're like hunting deer and you see a one star or two star deer go for that <laughs> that one is definitely more um useful than just a standard deer but see i'm using my pickaxe more so the pickaxe skill is improving and if you hover over it i think it tells you what it's actually doing like um my pickaxe, the more, the higher the level gets, the higher the damage with pickaxes is. The higher the damage with pickaxes, for one, if you use it for a weapon, but also, the more damage it does to these, um, deposits. Pretty much means you won't have to hit it as much. I think it does something with your stamina, too. Because if you go to... Some of them say something about um you don't use as much a stamina maybe maybe it's the sneak yeah you sneak the higher your sneak skill is the less stamina is used when you're sneaking and you're stealthy you're more stealthy when you're sneaking uh my sneak is only at level 13 but like your green bar the green bar like by my character's legs right there at the bottom of the screen is your stamina when you sneak this is sneaking. It uses your stamina when you sneak. So, a lot of things you do pretty much uses your stamina. <sighs> Beast 3 Bucks says, Okay, nice. I would play if I had PC. It is a fun game. I do suggest and recommend this game to anybody who can play it but if you don't have a laptop or computer then you can't play it unfortunately like i said i think i heard a rumor that the developers are wanting to bring this to console i think they're wanting to get this game like fully ready or like make it into a full game on pc first i could be wrong i don't know But you can play this with a controller. It is control controller compatible. So if they already have like the button layout scheme for a controller, I guess all they have to do is try to transfer it into a, uh, you know, code it for a console. I think I might have enough copper. Because I gotta smelt the copper, and then I gotta use the copper in tin and craft that and turn that into um, bronze. But it takes two pieces of copper. Oh, excuse me, boy. You're in my way. It takes two pieces of copper to craft one bronze. When it only takes one piece of tin. 
So if you have five pieces of tin, you need ten pieces of copper to make five pieces of bronze. I also need some more stone. I think I have enough stone to be honest. So I gotta get a smelter going. That thing right here. Yeah, put it right here. Like I said, this is all just for the time being. Yeah, build a smelter. Also, this bird, Holgan, he's like a, a guide. Um, whenever you do something new, he pops up and kind of tries to give you hints about it. The one thing I don't like is the coal doesn't burn the same as the, the smelter part. And this doesn't burn right. And this is with my OCD because the numbers don't match up. And I'm like, ugh, I can't keep it equal. If you have OCD and you play this game, then you probably understand exactly what I'm talking about. Because I think 20 coal is supposed to burn all 10 of these. If I'm not mistaken. But see, I just picked up the first piece of copper. Uh, which was a new material to this character and it unlocked the uh, the forge blueprint so I think I'm gonna have to build a forge Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a forge to make the bronze axe To make the To cut down the fine wood trees to make the portal it would have probably been a lot easier if I just hauled everything <laughs> instead of doing what I'm doing Oh, yeah, I don't even have that. Thank you for the follow. Emmett Avalia? Am I saying your name correctly? If I ever say anybody's name wrong, I apologize. I'm not trying to mispronounce people's names. I'm just not good at reading. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I needed six coppers, so the first thing I got to do is actually make the, uh, my eyeball. First thing I got to do is actually make the, um, forge. Hang on. I need to put this stuff in a very specific spot. <gasps> I already have some tin. Very nice. I forgot about that. Okay, give me this. Give me that. I like my stuff being organized, and this is not organized. But again, I'm fixing to leave this anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. That over there. This here. That doesn't need to go there. I can go. I can go here. I don't even need this. Take this here. So I have some tin I can actually throw in. Which is very nice. I need six copper pieces for the forge though. I need to go get some wood as well. I got I got five. I only need one more. I need to get wood though. Put that in there. That over there. Give me that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need it. Get out of here. I don't exactly need these raspberries right now either. Bells 3 Bug says, I think the game I'm thinking of is Scum. Probably. It's been a minute since I played that game too. I need to get back in it. Just this game came out and it has taken my interest. Like, I'm not interested in any other game right now. I need to go get some more wood. So I think I need 10 pieces for the forge. I 
don't need to cut down a whole tree because I just need a couple of pieces. Cutting these little trees, these little thin trees, I feel like is actually faster. Just because I don't... Ooh, the auto save is right. Just because I don't need a lot of wood. Yeah, that's 30 right there. That added two copper. That turned to coal. Very nice. Add that in there. Okay. Where was it? Here. Here. What did I need for the forge? Four coal. And then four stone. Very nice. I have exactly what I need for this. Oh, jeez. I... Copper knife. Very nice. Just like that, I already have a few things I can do with that. I have so much resin. Like, holy moly. Yeah, once I move everything to my new home's location, I'm going to make sure everything is properly organized. This is driving me insane. I can make a copper knife. That takes eight pieces of copper. Wait, what? Eight pieces of copper for a little bitty knife? I mean, it starts out with a nine slash, while my level three flint knife does a eight slash. So, uh, I mean, it's like one point better. <sighs> Crazy.